Hi guys, so um, this is a problem I've had with iMovie for some time now. Any video that has dark areas or shadows, I see really bad colour banding as if uh, iMovie has colour depth issues. So um, I'm pretty sure from reading various forums that I'm not the only one with this problem. And uh, as you can see, this is the original file that I imported into iMovie and you can't see any of the colour banding that you see in the iMovie preview. So, uh, this is the way I found to uh, fix it. I'm not sure if it's the best way, but it was the easiest way for me. Download X264 Encoder. I'll put the uh, web address in the description to this video. And uh, once the DMG has been mounted, you only need one file, and that's the X264 Encoder component. And you need to drag that file into your library forward slash QuickTime folder and uh, you might have to enter your OS 10 password at this point once that file has been dragged into the folder you'll have to quit out of iMovie and then restart iMovie again You'll still see the color banding issues in the preview window, but when you go to export the file, rather than choosing export movie, if you instead choose export with QuickTime, and then click on options, and then click on settings, and then in the compression type, you should see that there's now a new codec available, X264 encoder, so you can select that encoder. So you can just leave the settings as they are. Um, I put the quality up to high here. I'm not sure if it made any difference. But uh, after you've done that, click on OK and then click on Save. And it will start to export the movie. And it will export the movie using the X264 encoder instead of QuickTime's built-in encoder. And I found that the movie that is exported doesn't have the color banding issues that you see in the movie normally exported by iMovie. So you can see on the left there is the movie that was exported and on the right is the original file and you can see that they're exactly the same. And now the one on the right is the iMovie exported file using the standard iMovie codec and the one on the left is the one using the X264 encoder.